Hi everybody, I'm sure it hasn't escaped your attention, the unashamed anti-Semitism that has been allowed to uh, foster at universities, at college campuses um, around the world. But what's so crazy is that, as we all know, if this was any other minority or ethnic minority, this simply would not be tolerated. And I want to unpack why that is. This is uh, a clip of Leo Terrell, who is a, a civil rights attorney, an author, former school teacher, and um, civil rights campaigner. And he, this is him talking about the anti-Semitism on college campuses. Have a look at what he says here. I'm going to be very honest and very blunt. If, if, if those individuals were of a, of, a, of a particular color, like my skin color, that wouldn't happen. That would not happen. But it's happening because they're Jewish. Period. Plain and simple. And the, and the, and the Biden administration is looking the other way. I'm yeah, of course. And with every sentence they talk about anti-Semitism, they also have to mention Islamophobia and always get that in there as if they're um, completely identical issues. Um, why is this? It's amazing. You know, for, for 2000 years, the Jewish people have been trying to make the world appreciate the importance of looking after the underdog and minorities. Um, and treating them with a level of respect. And just as the world claims to start caring about these points, they've cr brilliantly created a way in which to say they can justify um, hating the Jews because of these values. Brilliant. You've got to hand it to them. Basically by saying the Jews are actually the oppressors. Ah, oh, brilliant. The most persecuted nation on the planet is actually the oppressors. Um, and so therefore, Israel is everything that's wrong with the world, and they're the powerful, the strong ones, the colonialists, the white uh, people oppressing the indigenous uh, Palestinians, where it's actually completely topsy-turvy um, in terms of the actual truth. Um, but I think he's completely right. They've created this absurd worldview, and therefore that's somehow allowed these college campuses to justify hatred. And it's amazing to me um, how they can, they have to go through so many intellectual jumps when we know the history of the Jewish people and their connection with the land of Israel and all the hatred they've had throughout history and the fact that the whole Palestinian cause, there was never a Palestinian state there and the leaders past and present said it's just a cynical ploy to create, um, restore Arab unity and that they really saw Israel as part of greater Syria and it's not really a nationalist cause. We know all the facts, but they create all these ridiculous intellectual loops to justify nonsense and it's time that we call it out. And uh, it reminds me of that quote of George Orwell, who said only an intellectual could think something so stupid or say something so stupid. For some reason, nonsense has been allowed to flourish on university campuses. And I'm minded of one of the first things Jewish people are meant to say in the morning. The beginning of wisdom, Rashi's Chachma, the beginning of wisdom is the fear of God, the reverence for God. No God, no wisdom. And universities are void of God and that kind of wisdom and therefore it's amazing but we've seen it the great idols of the west the media celebrity culture sports culture and of course the great universities Harvard itself and MIT and all the others tolerating even supporting and justifying not just absurd nonsense but even evil and barbarity as we saw in them justifying the Hamas attacks I think Actually, what we're seeing is with all the collapse of all these Western idols, we're realizing just how much we need a bit of divine wisdom and that without that, we really do lose our way. And I personally have been calling for a while now for the need to reintroduce on a pretty public and mass level um, Bible analysis, biblical analysis and study and appreciation of biblical wisdom, which laid the foundation really of Western civilization. And I think it's really been lost. And that's, I can't, I don't think we can disconnect that, you know, taking religion out of public schools and all these other things that we've just gone super secular. Now, religion can also go wrong and it has to be done right. But there's no doubt that so much good comes from the values found within the Hebrew Bible. And so much of the good things within civilization and certainly Western civilization and our morality and I think we really need to rediscover that. And there is so much incredible depth um, to be studied. Um, one person in particular I think of that I think has um, a professorship at John Hopkins University is Rabbi David Foreman, who does the most incredible biblical analysis on a level of academia. And I would recommend checking him out um, and uh, 
I think if you have ideas for ways in which we can get these ideas and this kind of study into mainstream, into education, I think it would do the world of good uh, into um, finding a constructive path forward. And it would also, of course, educate people about the Jewish people and their, uh, their relationship with the land and their history and uh, perhaps demystify um, who they are and perhaps uh, reshape some of their, their notions about who they are and also about morality, understanding that morality is a little bit more complex than just the powerful and the powerless, but actually actions and moral virtue do count and we do all have moral agency. Anyway, loads more to speak about on that front and I really welcome your comments to hear what you have to say on that. Um, but I'm Ollie Annisfeld and you're watching JTV.